Hi, Shauna here with a Ask Shauna Answer. Okay, so today's question comes from Willow and she says, today I was trying to teach my mare how to wear, appreciate a, a surcingle. I began by approaching her with it and had her target it, then reinforced. I got to a point of touching it on her side, then over her neck, then finally over her back. She was great with all of it until I got to reaching under and lifting the girth to her belly as this is not a sensation she's familiar with. She got snarky. So I backed off and went back to targeting, then put it back on, and after a few reps, she let me lift it up against her belly, then put it down. Uh, she did great on one side, but the other side, ha <laughs> ha, she was not so interested in it. So I uh, didn't, didn't want her to feel pressure or get frustrated. I decided then I'd better do a rep and then quit for the day. What she did next was sort of threaten to bite, and I thought, oh, no, am I creating a chain of behaviors here? So I decided to wait until she got calm, put her head down, and then clicked and rewarded. Should I have done it like this, or should I change up the activity to switch her mind to something else? You know, um, it, these are good questions. You know what I think I would do? Um, and, and it's good to observe what she, she did from there. You know, where she got kind of snarky after it. And I, you know, I don't know exactly what that was about or what she was thinking at that point in time. But the mere fact that when you went to touch her belly with the sur single, she wasn't very good. So what I would do, I would get her used to things touching her belly, like your hand, and maybe you already have, so I'm kind of guessing here, but make sure that she is good with your hand touching her belly, that she's good with pressure under there. You can even kind of push up with your hand, so it kind of gives a sensation of pressure, and make sure she's good with all of that. And if you're not sure how she is with having her belly touched, make sure that she's good for all the parts underneath there. So before you even move to the sur single, make sure that you she lets you touch her back, her side, her her teats, her belly, you know, under her arms, the the whole thing that she is good and calm about it. Now, one of the things I like to do, I want to work and I I talk about this a lot. I want to work below threshold. So when I see her start to get kind of worried or start to get kind of tense or start to look slightly grumpy or just even lift her head a little bit, I'm going to kind of recognize, you know what? This point right here means I am I want to work below this point. You want to work to where you have no um, reaction whatsoever. When you have no reaction whatsoever at one level, then I'll get a little closer or a little bit more pressure or a little bit whatever the next step might be. But you want to work below that threshold. Once they get to that kind of cranky point, sometimes it's harder to get them down because they've already crossed over. They've gone above threshold. They're like, I... You know, I don't like this. So you want to work kind of from that slow point. But what she's doing, she's communicating a lot to you there. And, and you know, with Mayor, sometimes it's different from day to day and that she's better on one side than the next. And I imagine she was probably more comfortable with the side you traditionally work her from. You know, like most horses are used to the side where we do all our, most of our grooming and mounting and all that stuff. So I bet you went to the right side is probably when she got grouchy or I'm thinking, but that would be kind of what I would anticipate. But in any case, so what I do is I go back and do the desensitization, touching her belly all over the place and touching her legs and touching her butt and touching everything so that she is good and relaxed with all of it. And one of the things I fundamentally look for that this is not, I'm always saying target. I'm always saying below threshold and I'm always saying, um, relaxation. <laughs> so the other thing I want you to really remember to look at is you want to work on that place where she is nice and calm. So you want to see relaxation with all those little parts before you go to the next part. Because if she's feeling tense on any of it, it means she's not really relaxed. So we just want to see it where you can come up and you can touch her belly and you can push on it. She doesn't really care. You can kind of get to where you can give her a big hug kind of and she doesn't even care. So she's kind of feeling pressure from the top and the bottom. You then if she's good with that, start. And even though you just go to the other side, start way back and, and assume that you have to desensitize each and every part and kind of find out where she starts to change and then go to doing it all again. Now, let's say you've already done that and she's great and she's relaxed and she doesn't she just doesn't care, then I would 
Now I would look at it and I would start to do the same thing, but with the Sir single in your hand first. So she gets, and even though you might not get a huge reaction there, what you're gonna be doing is building up a good reinforcement history with the correct behavior and with the elements of this behavior. So when she sees the Sir single, she starts going, okay, I like that thing. So as she get because it's, it's all associated with good. So as it gets to a point where it gets a little bit more challenging, she has a decision to make. Am I gonna be cranky and snarky? And, and you know, bitey, or am I gonna be calm and relaxed? At this point in time, remember if any behavior is, is there, uh, well, if it increases in frequency or maintains in frequency, it's because they're getting something out of it. Somehow they're getting reinforced. It, in their mind, something in the environment is serving them in that. So we wanna see, make sure that it is decreasing and she's not increasing with that. So as you go back and you try it again, look for that relaxation, building up the reinforcement history, the relaxation history with all the components of it. So get it where the Sir Single can touch her all over as she has that decision to make when she sees it. So there's gonna be more weight on the side of the scale that is for the Sir Single touching her as opposed to the biting side. But right now it's probably a little bit more like this and she's thinking I'd rather just be cranky and end this. But pretty soon she's gonna say, I want, I want to stand here for it because I think that it is going to be okay. Everything related to the sur single or pressure on my belly has been okay. So just building it up from there and pretty soon she'll like the sur single. I mean, you know, she'll nicker when you get it out. <laughs> but so that's what I would do is I would look toward, towards rebuilding the thing. So you did a good job. You did, I mean, and I would also do the same thing. If I got that snarky attitude, I would want to get back to, I said, okay, let's get back to a good thing. Let's get back to a good place, a relaxed place. And remember, as much as possible, ignore unwanted behavior and drawing attention to good behavior, which I imagine you did, because you know kind of a lot about what we're doing. But just kind of remember that. It's easy sometimes to go, hey, but just, you know, ignore that as much as you can. Go around, try and get something to build up, maybe not as close, but a little approximation towards get something good, you know, whatever it is, lift her leg, you know, whatever she likes to do, and then get it where you have a good a little approximation towards the correct behavior and end and, and there. And then kind of put that, I, I would have that like a bookmark in my head and I think, okay, this is where it fell apart. So I need to kind of step back from there and move up to there slowly. So you have her saying, yes, 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 yes. And that doesn't mean you have to go all the way to having the sur single you know, wrap on her the next day. It just, maybe if it just touches her a little bit, or maybe it's not even that, maybe it's just your hand and it just touches her there. You know, so she'll be the one that he'll, she'll tell you. So just watch for that place where she even just gets from this to this. That to me is where I go, this is the point. This is the point where I want to stay below and then I want to approach this point. And when you get to that point and you see that she is just relaxed and nonplussed as could be, it means we're ready to go to the next little point, the next little point. So just go in those slow increments. And there's gonna be a point in there where the good outweighs the bad with the surf single in her mind, whatever that might be right now, and it'll it'll go faster. But she'll always be the gauge. Okay, Willow, I'm really chatty. But anyway, I hope that that um, answered your question. I mean, there could be more components to it that I'm not getting, but just let me know and I can address those. I, I kind of had some camera issues, so it took me a little bit to get this going. And as it is, I'm not actually using the microphone wearing it. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope that answered your question. If you or anybody else has more questions, please don't hesitate to ask. You can go to shaunacarish.com or askshauna.com. Until next time, enjoy getting your horse on target. Bye.